Breaking tonight at the Georgia State Capitol, the Peach State will no longer rank last when it comes to access to mental health care. And that is thanks to the House and Senate unanimously voting to approve the Mental Health Parity Act, which just happened hours ago. The Reveal investigator Rebecca Lindstrom is live at the Capitol with what this means for you and your family. And what it means is if your insurance covers mental health, then you should be able to get an appointment with a therapist for your depression just as easily as you can get medical care for something like a broken arm. On the passage of the bill, the yeas are 54, the nays are zero. The federal government mandated mental health parity in 2008, but it wasn't until this Wednesday that Georgia finally put in place a way for the state to enforce it. House. Do the right thing and play by the law. The Speaker of the House put his name on the bill, promising at the start of the session to make mental health reform his top priority. The Lieutenant Governor echoed his concerns with access. This is a great day for Georgia. But as lawmakers enjoy the accolades, it is mothers like Christina Henry that feel the emotional weight of being denied care as part of 11 Alive's investigation into the hundreds of children abandoned to state custody. Henry candidly shared the reason for her decision, lack of access to care. I've come in contact with so many families that are, they're drowning. They are, they're drowning. Now as an adult, both Christina and her daughter Kaylee spent time at the Capitol to support the bill. You don't know what it means for, to me and to Sheree for you to be here today. But Kaylee wasn't there as her mom got to meet with Speaker Ralston after the final vote. She was once again in a crisis stabilization unit, a constant cycle of care that offered no long-term solutions. Because insurance would not approve evaluations for a very long time, we kept getting these misdiagnoses. It's those type of denials lawmakers hope this bill fixes for Kaylee and every family in Georgia. Give me a hug. Thank you. Support for this bill. The governor has expressed support for this bill, but has not said yet when he plans to sign it. Now, beyond parity, this bill increases training for law enforcement and how to respond to a crisis, and it creates more co-responder teams. That's essentially a police officer working with a mental health uh, behavioralist to really decide if a person needs treatment or time in jail.